My buddy Kronos at CupofLinux.com made a suggestion that I look at some distributions which are not so popular, but um, have a good place in the Linux ecosystem. And these are distributions well worth checking out. And uh, the first uh, operating system I'd like to place into our Linux underdogs segment is Dev1. People don't use an operating system such as this because they want the fastest, most cutting-edge operating system. No. They want to have freedom from a standard which is kind of muscled its way into the Linux ecosystem. And of course, I'm speaking about System D. Dev1 is basically like Debian, or it's a fork of Debian, but instead of using the system D standard, they decided to stick with the system five in it. And basically uh, what that means is it's a little bit behind the times where Debian is a little bit further ahead because they have to actually patch all this software so that it will run on the older init system and that sort of thing. So, I mean, it, it, you know, um, there is there is a little drawback to using this, but for those of you who want freedom from System D, this is a good option. And I will uh, and I digress for a moment. In the uh, time that uh, the Cup of Linux show took a break, I had an opportunity to look at a handful of distributions that do not use System D. Um, Slitas and Dev1 were the easiest ones to install. The other ones I looked at, and I'm not going to mention their names were uh, a little bit more complicated. They either involved uh, manually using uh, FDisk or CFDisk to make your partitions. Um, and you had a bunch of extra steps that you had to do. They didn't have graphical installers or anything like that to install these systems. And you basically had a text console to work with to uh, install these distributions. And so, you know, I, and I just find that's a strange a coincidence that the uh, system D less uh, Linux distributions out there are not quite so user friendly, but Dev1 and uh, Slitez are. At least uh, those are the only two, and I there could be more, and I'm sure everybody's gonna put the comments below that I'm not gonna see to tell me which distributions they are, and of course I'm not gonna know because I don't read my YouTube comments. <laughs> So you are here looking at Dev1 ASCII. This is their default installation. I basically uh, downloaded the uh, DVD, the live installer DVD, and I just installed the default setup. So this one's for you, Kronos. You asked me to have a look at it, and here it is. Uh, and um, from what I can see here, this is a nice stable build. It's built on top of the uh, Debian Jesse, which is uh, 8. And I think they're on uh, Codebase 9 now. Yeah, they, of course they are. They're on Stretch now. And um, so this is a little bit behind the times. And that's understandable considering that the packages and that sort of thing, um, you know, need to be transitioned over to the old init system. Again, this is for people who want that freedom. Okay, and I'm not knocking it because I'm using a Debian Wheezy on my server. Okay, and that's using System 5 in it. And my main computer is using Manjaro, which is uh, using System D. What can I say? They both work. So if you're going to try and get me to pick one over the other, I'm not going to do that because, you know, that's the freedom of choice that you have here. So upon uh, doing an installation here and looking at their XFCE desktop, you will see it's not the latest and greatest. You know, when you uh, press that application menu, you're not getting Whisker, you're getting the basic XFCE menu. But you can install that, and you can update it a little bit if that's what you want. Um, you uh, have uh, your standard settings manager, which allows you to go through and uh, make changes to the system. Okay, uh, nothing too fancy here. I mean, it's XFCE. It's a little bit older version of it, but it's rock solid and stable. So um, if you're going to need a desktop for maybe, uh, you know, running your small business or, um, 
you know, just doing your work at home or maybe even running a server, this would be an ideal operating system, definitely. And it gives you just the basics here. Um, on the base install, a handful of t accessories are thrown in to get the most out of the system. A few graphics tools um, are included inclu with an image viewer and an image scanner. Okay, uh, Firefox has uh, extended support for those of you who enjoyed the older version of Firefox and all the plugins that it had. Personally, I wouldn't want to uh, use something uh, that dated, but the choice is yours here. Okay, a few media applications, so you can uh, watch your movies, burn your CDs, manage your audio control, uh, the full LibreOffice suite for all of your desktop publishing needs, and a handful of other utilities thrown in. You can report your bugs. Um, bulk renaming, I use that tool quite often, very handy XFCE tool. And uh, basically, uh, I really don't have much more to say about this. Um, if you think this is something that you would be interested in trying out, um, visit the link in the description and have a look at it for yourself. I'm not sure what I'm going to be covering next on Cup of Linux, but I'm sure I'll have something exciting. Um, but this is where you can come in. Visit me at couplelinux.com and put your uh, suggestions in Spatry's inbox or the suggestion box. I'll read through them, and if I think it's something that would be of interest to uh, do, um, I'll make a video on it. Um, that's all I have for now. Until next time, peace out. Thank mm -hmm. you.